Hi guys, today we're actually going to sit down with Eva. She's our FlexCube concept manager and ask her a few little questions about what she does here. So, thanks for sitting down with us today, Eva. Yeah, thank you. If you could give us a quick rundown on what the FlexCube concept manager actually involves and what your day-to-day -day work is. Yeah, so you can say that I'm responsible for the process of transforming customer requirements into solutions. Okay. Uh, so, I basically coordinate all the design projects and supports the design team and the sales team through this. Yeah. Uh, the sales team usually gathers the customer requirements mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a chat about it and then me and the design team turns this into the best solution for the customer. Okay. Do you have guidelines on how you would actually use the FlexCube building blocks to create a solution? Yeah, so we have our standard building blocks that the FlexCube concept revolves around. Yeah. Uh, and we put these together in different ways uh, to customize solutions for every customer, basically. Yeah. Uh, so we have the FlexCube interface that is on all our components, yeah. uh, which makes it possible to put them together into uh, endless different uh, types of designs. Yeah, and we have uh, over 4,000 different designs. Yeah. Um, are you, do you have like a base set up on how you design a cart? Yeah, we have different, so we have different types of bases and different yeah. types of casters and transportation methods. So you usually yeah. start with a base yeah. and then you build your way up to okay. different top, top structures depending on what you want to transport. Yeah, do you have a set uh, structure for creating a base or do you have different ways of de designing different bases? Yeah, so I work also work a lot with uh, concept development, so creating yeah. some uh, standardized guidelines for this and uh, how to improve design for manufacturing and assembly. But we have some uh, different guidelines depending on your uh, load capacity and transportation methods. Yeah. Okay, okay, awesome. So do you have an example of when a customer actually purchased one type of design and then got in contact with you because they wanted to change the design? Yeah, we actually do that quite a lot. Yeah. Almost every week we have some type of projects okay. with, uh, where the customer wants to update something or change something on the cart after we deliver them. Uh, but we had one project recently where the customer had manual push carts with different types of top structures. I think it was five different designs. Mm. Uh, and we changed them from uh, regular push carts into rotating uh, push carts with a rotating top structure to improve the operation. Very cool. Yeah. That's nice. Have you ever had an example when something like that, when a customer comes back to you and they're actually amazed about how flexible the, the system is or they're amazed about the design of the cart? I think a lot of our customer thinks that that is one of uh, the advantages with the FlexTube concept. Also. Uh, if uh, because our cars in, are used in pretty rough environments, so also uh, they're, they think it's very good that they can replace, for example, pallet guides or yeah. casters when they get worn out. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, instead of having to buy a new cart. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever? What are the, some of the most common questions when you sit down with the customer, or is it that mostly taken with the sales team? Um, most customer meetings are with the sales team. Yeah. But I also sit down with customers sometimes, depending on the, the customer and the project. Uh, but usually the customer have pretty much an idea of what they want. Mm. Uh, and I, I often feel like they, that they, they have this clear picture of what they want, but maybe that's not always the best way of doing it. Mm. Or, uh, we can't always do exactly what you want. So it's more about us asking them questions to understand their problem and uh, what they want to achieve. Yeah, okay. Uh, what, uh, what are some, of, some advice you would have for a customer that wants to come to you or come to FlexCube to get a card built? What information do you guys need straight away? Uh, we need to have an idea of how how it looks in their factory, how do you want to transport material, do you want a manual push cart, do you want a tugger cart or uh, an automated uh, solution, mm. uh, but also an idea of what the weight of the load mm. and how the load looks and uh, how they are loading and unlo unloading, mm. uh, stuff like that are generally the types of questions we ask them. Yeah. 
okay. Do you have your own favorite type of cart that you like to design or a favorite type? Is it a shelf cart, is it a tugger cart? <laughs> I think it's interesting with all the kit cards that we do that are mm. the most customized solutions but mm. because then you really have to think outside the box and uh, we do these for when you want to transport uh, maybe a lot of different components on one cart or very specific uh, components, very sp specialized carts yeah. and I think that's fun. Yeah. Uh, okay. How would uh, a customer get in contact with you if they were interested in actually having a design made for them? Uh, they can email me at design at flexcube.com, yeah. for example, uh, or contact one of our sales representatives. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Um, thanks very much for sitting down with us, Eva. Yeah. And thanks very much for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, like Eva said, you can email at design at flexcube.com or visit our website at www.flexcube.com. Thanks very much for watching, guys.